Hello, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to switch between scenes. I've already set up an example project base. It's very similar to my other tutorials. In the controller package, I have scene one controller and scene two controller. In the model package, I have a scene switch class. And in the resources view folder, I have a scene one view and a scene two view. I've already uh, preset the controller links to this. so. Scene 2 links to Scene 2 controller, Scene 1 links to Scene 1 controller. And then the main application, all this does is run the Scene 1 view first off. So what I'm going to do now is open up Scene 1 in Scene Builder. So I'm just going to put a label here so we know which scene we're on. So this is Scene 1. Just center that and then I'm also just going to put a button and all this one's going to do is switch to scene 2 and then on the action we're going to do on switch to click save and then we also need to click the anchor pane and give that a name so we'll call this one scene one anchor pane and let's get to save. And then we're gonna go to the view, show sample controller, copy that, and then we're gonna go to the scene one controller and we're going to paste that one in. Next off, we're gonna do the exact same thing for scene two. So we're gonna drag a button in and a label this label is going to say this is scene 2 and we'll pop that in the middle and this is a switch to scene 1 put that there and we'll give this one a method call so this will be on switch 1 click and then the anchor pane we're going to call that scene 2 anchor pane, saving that, we'll go to view, show sample controller, copy that, and we can close this now. Go to scene 2 controller, and we'll paste that in. Perfect, so now we've got all of that. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to switch from scene 1 to scene 2. So in my scene switch class, I have already set up the code that I'm going to need. So this code, you pass in the current anchor pane, and then a variable which we are called fmxl and this is just a string variable that specifies the file path to that fxml file and then this sets the next anchor pane to be the resource that we have specified and it does and then what it does is the current anchor pane it removes everything from that and it sets everything for that anchor pane to be what is in the new anchor pane. Bit confusing, but it does work, I assure you. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to go into the on switch to click method and we're going to type in new scene switch. So this just calls that class. Then we're gonna pass in our scene one anchor pane and then we're gonna specify what scene we want it to switch to. So for this example, we want it to switch to scene two view.fmxl and we have got a red underline and this is because we need to add an exception so that's all done now we're just going to do the exact same thing for the next one so new scene switch we're going to pass in this one is called scene 2 anchor pane and then we're going to pass in what we want it to switch to so we want it to switch to scene 1 view.fmxl semicolon at the end and we need to also add the exception and we can also remove the event button because we're not doing anything with it so it's not needed and we can remove the imports for that because we're not using it clean that up a bit there we go so now if we go to the main application and we press the run button it's going to come up with our scene one if we click this scene two and that's how we switch between scenes this is very useful it can be used for a lot of Java FX applications. I personally like to have a separate class for the scene switch method just because I use it so often. It saves rep 
repetition, you know, rewriting the code in the classes, but this is entirely personal preference. I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you want any other tutorials.